Welcome, I'm Danny Davis for the Dentist News Network. My guest is Dr. Roger Briggs in Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome, Dr. Briggs. Thank you, it's good to be back. We're discussing halitosis, uh, commonly known as bad breath. Can you talk about the causes of bad breath? You know, halitosis or bad breath, can, can it, it can come from dental origins. Um, it can also come from a lot of other reasons as well. Uh, sometimes uh, bad breath can be an indication of, of uh, a diabetic situation. Um, sometimes people will have an acetone breath. Uh, it can have to do with uh, maybe they're losing weight too fast. Um, but the origins that come from a dental um, condition uh, come from a, a compounds that build up between the teeth and in the mouth called volatile sulfur compounds. So periodontal disease typically is one of those things that can create that really offensive order that, uh, that we're all familiar with, um, but we may not know where it's coming from. How does periodontal disease play a part? Yeah, you know, periodontal disease is, is one of those things that uh, many times that can be prevented with regular care. You know, it's, it, we often will tell a patient <clears throat> when we meet them for the first time if they have a question about whether or not they have halitosis or bad breath, um, you can take dental floss and slip that in between your teeth and take it out of your mouth and smell it on the floss. Now, I know that sounds kind of disgusting, um, but it beats going up to your girlfriend and saying, hey, do you think I have bad breath? And I'm guessing it's always a good idea to see a dental professional. Yeah, you know, if you, if, if you do have bad breath or you feel you have bad breath, you can go to a dental office and nobody will ever, ever look down on you. I know people sometimes will ask me, oh, I think I have bad breath. They'll be hesitant about that. And I have to tell them, I'm a dental professional. I'm here to help you. You can be really upfront with me and just flat out say, does my breath smell bad, Dr. Briggs? Would it be safe to say that bad breath, though commonly not a serious health problem, can be a sign of something serious? These volatile sulfur compounds, the bacteria that create this kind of, of disease in the mouth, uh, they produce a hydrosulfuric acid, and that's what makes the gums bleed. And that sulfuric acid is where the sulfur smell comes from. And if you're using a mouth rinse, that's not gonna get up below the gum line. Uh, you can take a little measurement of three millimeters. Um, you can't possibly get that mouthwash up underneath that, that gum line. You need to get the bacteria out of there. And then there are some mouth rinses that are designed specifically for neutralizing that sulfur smell from volatile sulfur compounds. Thanks, Dr. Briggs. I'm Danny Davis, and you're watching the Dentist News Network.